Day sales outstanding is one of the most important metrics that you can look at either as a stock investor or as a business owner. In this video, I want to share with you how it is that you can calculate this metric, why this metric is important and how to interpret the number itself. And all of this is coming from my experience as a stock investor, but most importantly, as a financial analyst at one of Canada's top largest real estate investment trust and if you stay until the end of this video i'm also going to share with you how it is that you can get this number automatically for a list of stocks right on your excel or google sheet spreadsheet okay so to start off day sales outstanding is one of the most important metrics that you can analyze when looking to invest in a particular company or stock because it essentially tells you on average how long does it take for the company to receive payment for the goods or services that it produces. Now, obviously, if a company has a high number, meaning that it takes a long time to actually collect the payment for the good and services that it produces, this is not seen as a favorable thing. And the reason is that the longer it takes for you to be able to collect that cash as a company, the more time you're essentially uh, allowing for new obligations to come that you have to pay. And then if you don't have the cash to be able to pay those obligations that's how companies get into financial trouble on the opposite hand if you have a low number this indicates that you're able to collect the cash as a company right away and this allows you all types of opportunities for you to be able to take that cash pay for your expenses pay for new investments pay investors it really opens up a lot of doors now the formula to calculate the days of sales outstanding is very simple you take the average receivables of the company and then you divide that number by the total number of credit sales or the amount of credit sales. After that, you just take that number and multiply it by 365, which is the number of days in a year. Now, let me share with you the step-by-step -step calculation in Excel, as well as how to get this number automatically on your spreadsheet. Okay, so first things first, in order to calculate the day sales outstanding, what would need to do is to look at the company's financial statements and look at the relevant metrics that we need in order to perform this calculation. So right here, I'm just simply going to use white sheets so that way I can get the financial statements for Apple. This works on Excel and Google Sheets. And what we're going to be focusing on on this case is to look at the balance sheet. For what? Exactly for what we mentioned before, which is the receivable. So you can see that this number is reported right here. I can highlight it so that way you can see it a little bit better and the other thing that we need is the total number of credit sales now in this case and for many companies you're not going to be able to find this number sometimes you can find it on the company's annual reports or quarterly reports but a common assumption that is performed is that all sales are credit sales so that way you can kind of get an estimation of what the real number is but first let's do this so we need to calculate the average receivables in order to do that we need to take the average so we're going to use the built-in average formula built into excel and google sheets and we're going to select the two the last two years because this is going to give you uh, the real average of the current period if you wanted to do the average yourself you would just need to sum these two numbers so this number plus this one right here divided by two this is what this formula is doing and this essentially provides you with the average receivables let me just add some space right here so that way you can see it better so this is the number right here now what do we need to do in order to calculate the day of sales outstanding all we need to do is take this number and then divide it by the revenue of the company and that's something that you find right here on the income statement so i'm just gonna zoom in you can see the revenue is reported right here and as you can see this is the number itself of course there's one more key step and it is to multiply this number by 365 which is the number of days in in any given year pretty much we're gonna add some more space and this is the number that we get so 52 0.04 this essentially means that for apple it takes about 52 days for the company to collect the cash on its sales of products as well as services so this is a seems like a pretty reasonable 
number for the company. The key thing here is if you can compare this number across many different companies in the same industry, that's where you get real strong insights because you're able to compare how one company does against another. And then that tells you how efficient a particular company is or is not. Now I want to share with you a really powerful way for you to be able to get the day sales outstanding automatically very fast for a lot of companies all at once. So as you can see right now, we have a list of semiconductor stocks. We have a list of metrics that we want to get, but the one that we're going to focus on right now is the day sales outstanding. So what you can do is using this white sheets add on right here that works for uh, Excel and Google sheets. You can navigate to the screener function right here and then select the list of companies. This could be a lot more extensive and this indeed support many different global exchanges around the world. So you're going to select the list of tickers. Make sure again to use the Yahoo Finance ticker system so that way the system recognizes the ticker itself. And then you're going to select the metrics that you're interested in getting. So in this case, we have all of these ones right here. We click on get data. And as you can see right away, you're going to get all the information all at once. So this is really powerful so that you can really compare how many different companies are doing against each other on the metrics that really matter to you. So in this case, we're looking at this day sales outstanding. This is the number based on the last fiscal year. We could also do TTM. So based on the company's financial performance of the last trailing 12 months, or we could also do it for the last quarter, which is interesting as well. So if we change this, for example, and then press on refresh live data right here, you can see how the number is going to change. Obviously, the price is constantly changing because right now the market's open. But one of my favorite things is actually to highlight the data, add a filter right here. And now what you can do is say, you know what, I want to get the highest number first or the lowest number first and at any given point you can again refresh the data so that way you have the automatically calculated number as well as a whole bunch of different metrics automatically on your spreadsheet if you've enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification zone so that way you get notified every time we release a new video like this i'll see you in the next one